Hello everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Gee whiz, wasn't that a funny opening? Ah! It is morning. I'm feeling... I'm feeling good today. You know you have one of those long deep sleeps and you wake up, like we slept through our alarms a bit this morning, but you wake up and you think, oh great, it must be like, I don't know, we get up normally, I don't know, half seven, eight, is when we try to get up. And we, because we slept through our alarms and I slept so deeply, I thought, sorry, I'm just making the bed. I assumed that we, I thought it was like nine or 10 o'clock, because we did that the other day. And then I woke up and it was like quarter to eight. I love it, I love it when you think you've slept for, you know, 10 hours, you feel like you've had a great sleep, but it's still the normal time you'd wake up. Hey, I've assumed the position on the sofa. I can't actually really see my face now I've got this little muff thing on, but the muff is useful. We were meant to do a different video, but it's been another one of those hectic weeks, I'm afraid. I think because I wasn't here on Monday, I was at my parents and that's when me and Maddie would normally do our sit down sort of plan of the week, like we showed in that other video we did on how we make YouTube videos. I don't know, I don't know if Maddie did it, but I've just been feeling like a, a little lost chicken all week, really. Um, we've done one video. I've been helping Maddie with other videos and I've had some like chores to do. Yeah, it's all just been up in the air. We're going away to London tomorrow again. So I think it's about time I got some stuff done. You know when things just build up towards the end of the week and you, you've got like a whole list of little chores and things as well as a video to make. And I think I'm helping Maddie with a video and she's also got another video that she started filming last week and we've got to finish, blah, 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 blah. What should I start off with? What should I start off with, viewers? Since I'm up so early, I can't even go and collect Maddie's uh, parcel she's got waiting at the post office because it's not open yet. <gasps> I know what we can do. Bit of a mess down here. Can you tell what it is yet? If we just go in here, it is in here. I finally got the bike stand for the wall. However, it came in this bag. I'm just covering that up because they, the post office kind of scribbled our address on the front. A bit weird. We are very sorry that this item has reached you in this condition. So I don't know if, because uh, I got it off Amazon, I assumed it would come in a box, like everything from Amazon, but it seems to have come in this plastic bag. So Royal Mail have wrapped it. So I don't know if that means something is broken inside it or what, but uh, let's find out. Folding bike storage wall bracket. Helps clear your floor space by neatly storing your bike on the wall. Well, that's just what I'm after, but I bet I don't have the right tools. See, these little puppies have been here for quite a while. And sometimes they make a bit of a mess on the floor. They're okay today. But they need to go up here or through there. I can't remember which one I decided. So there's zero instructions, but screws and raw plugs included. Oh dear, what does that mean? Ah. What happens here? What the heck? Okay, so maybe that's a job for when I'm a bit more awake, because I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe we'll try this thingy, this looks more fun. Oh my gosh, it comes with a user manual. Ooh. Mm. Oh, for crying out loud. It requires a nine volt battery. I didn't think things still use that anymore. I thought it, would, I thought it came with one. Right. Well, that's been a success. Oh well, you live and you learn. I got so excited about making a video, I forgot to make breakfast. Maybe that will help me engage brain. time until the post office opens. Maybe I should sit down and be productive. Okay, let's go. I am in pure slob mode today. Got my hoodie, got my tracksuit bottoms, 
I have my Nike Airs on. I also just looked in the mirror before I left. I realise I've been chatting to the whole video up till now with big pussy spots on my face, which is always pleasant. I hope you couldn't see those. I blame the sun because I got sunburned yesterday and I had to put moisturiser all over my face last night. I'll tell you the story, shall I? Me and Maddie went for a nice little bike ride along the coast, just the way I normally go. There's like a, a coastal path that heads all the way up to Salt Dean, which is a little town on the coast. And then it kind of stops. And we went there, had a little sit down, took some pictures, and then we realized there was a man trapped on the beach with his dog and daughter. And he was trying to get back around to get back onto the path but the tide was coming in. He was convinced that he could walk it, that he could walk along these, uh, there were steps below us, covered in seaweed. And we were, we were shouting to him saying, no, you can't, you can't do that. You're gonna fall off. And he's like, no, it's all right. I'll put my shoes on, I'll be fine. Uh, in the end, we convinced him not to. Sorry about that. Battery cut out on me. Had to walk all the way home and get a new battery. But it's okay, because it's a sunny day. So let me reset the scene. So me, me and Maria were standing at the top of this wall so about 12 feet above this guy, standing on the rocks with his daughter and his dog. A big wave comes in, splashes them all, and he realizes that maybe he can't get back to shore. So he retreats a bit further up onto the rocks on his beach. We call the Coast Guard. They eventually come, but in the I think there was a bit of confusion about where we were and where the lifeboat was coming from. And in the end, I checked on our Instagram story. We were there for nearly an hour and a half waiting for the coast guard to come and help this guy across the road they were able to help him and his daughter well they rescued the dog first then they were able to get him and his daughter up uh, with a little winch 10 out of 10 work from the coast guard they're very quick very efficient and they kept the daughter calm because they could see she was a bit worried anyway hopefully the dad learned a lesson Namely that you should never try to beat the tide, especially with your kid and your dog, because the tide will always beat you. And the upshot of it was that we were out in the sun for several hours without sunscreen, because we thought we'd just be going out for a little quick bike ride. And also being British, we don't anticipate the sun and don't wear sunscreen as much. I feel like this wasn't so much our fault as it was this guy's. So now I'm off to get some aloe vera, because me and Maddie have sunburns all up our arms and on our noses. I'm pretty sure a guy who just drove past me shouted at me from his car window. And now you know why I feel slightly awkward vlogging in public. Got the package. Got the aloe vera. And I got the sunscreen. Look at my poor Arms, I can't get it. And my chest. First. I put makeup on so you can't see yeah. my face, really. Maybe see it on my forehead a bit and my nose, but I've got makeup on. But last night, especially this part, was not happy with me, but. Ooh. <gasps> oh. 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 It's very cold. Is it good? Yeah, I can cooling. already see that this is not as bad as last night. Like last night I was bright yeah. red. So, yeah, do you want some? Yes, please. This is a good look, by the way. The yeah. Pokemon um, sleeveless top. Did you explain why this happened? I explained why this happened. <laughs> yeah, first sunny day of the year and this is what happened. I was thinking, oh, we won't get as badly burned as last year because we're not in, like, Singapore and Thailand. Well, we were stood outside in the first baking sun. day. We were stood outside in the baking sun for, like, an hour and a half yeah. waiting for the Coast Guard. So it's not exactly our fault and waiting for this guy to get help. But I didn't really consider it much. We were just kind of, we were so worried for the man and his daughter <laughs> and dog. Not that side, the other, but I mean, it's not bad for you or anything, but on the other side, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You had your top done up. I was dumb, I had my top like undone. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you haven't got it on your chest. You were blasting your boobs out, weren't you? I was what? Blasting my boobs out? For the Instagram photos. Are you having a laugh? What the hell does that even mean? Blasting your boobs. So as soon as a woman wears a top that keeps her cool, she's blasting her <laughs> boobs. Are you having a joke? You're really annoying. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. On my Instagram, I posted a picture. Alex will insert it because it was really bad last night. 
but that always happens it, like when you first get burnt. Um, I went really freckly on my nose and I was like, oh, I'm really freckly. And then I later on burn, I realized it was just before the burn. But my face is fine because I've got makeup on. We are filming bits for Maddie's video. It is hot. The room is currently a bit of a mess. We have the window open. Right, Maddie was upset that she wasn't in enough of the vlog today. I was not. <laughs> so tell us what you're making, Chef Maddie. Stir fry. Tell us your ways. Well, tell us your secrets. Well, there'll be a video that um, I've done on this before. I don't so. want to watch a video. I want you to tell me now. No, I'm joking. Stir fry with some veg and tahini, soy sauce and sriracha. I have a recipe on my channel with peanut butter. As yeah. opposed to tahini, so. But similar stuff. Yeah, you can do it both ways. And, and show them my um, plaster. Oh, I like to put plaster on his yeah. acne spot. It's not an acne spot, I just want it to be like Nelly. Because he's suddenly got this like big acne spot, which I think is because you've been eating loads of... Pizza! Yeah, you had a weekend of just like... I had two XXL Papa John's pizzas over the weekend. Yeah, so... Which was amazing. But he, but... It kind of was oozing earlier, so... Sorry, yeah, it's gross. Yeah. We've had a really long day of um, filming and I think the sunburn made us both feel a bit headachey because I had a weird dizzy spell earlier and mm. felt weird. I don't know why. The aloe vera has actually done really well. Yeah. But I could feel it kind of burning earlier. Yeah, it's definitely a lot better like than it was. tight. It reminds me of Thailand and Vietnam where we I got I think burnt. you're burnt more than me in a way. It's weird because there's like no burn here. Burn. Yeah. And then burn at the wrist. Yeah. Oh well. And also my video has had an error when I've been rendering it twice. So I've had to, I wanted it to be up at like five and then it rendered, had a render error and then I wanted it to be up at like, at the latest like seven or eight and now it's not gonna go up to like 10 because the third time it's not. Hopefully this time it worked. I think I figured out why it happened, but very annoying. <laughs> oh. You're not very good at YouTube, are you? Sometimes I just, technology is just not on my side. Mm. So um, I'm going to make dinner because I'm starving because it's really late. I think when it's sunny, it makes me eat later because the day, it feels so much longer. Yeah, I think especially ate, this time of year. You ate uh, at five to five yesterday, you wanted dinner. Oh no, yeah. was it the day before? And it just felt so weird. Yeah. Well, that was because I had a small lunch. No. Um, but like I feel normal eating at like, what, it's like eight o'clock now, isn't it? I don't feel... Yes. So it's weird because it's sunny, it just... I feel like spring, you have to get used to the fact that the, the sun's suddenly out for ages. But anyway, I need to cook. I'm hungry. I thought I was messy. <laughs> what do you call this? So Alex found these rice packets reduced and he's just said to me he can eat all this. Yeah, easy mate. Takes me back to our high carb low fat days. <laughs> now we're just high carb, high fat. Is that our new movement? That's your new movement. High carb, high fat, high protein, high sweets, high crisps, high beer. Hi Maddie. Hi. Is that going to be enough? Can I do it, Maddie? Oh my god, it's so heavy, I can't even lift it. <laughs> I figured out that this was going to require a drill for the wall. So we'll revisit that another time, shall we? This is nearly done in two hours. Fingers crossed it works this time. We're watching Mad Men. We, we, which seat? Oh, we're on season seven, episode 10, so we're pretty near the end. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Is that enough? No, what the hell? What? Every other time it's too much. Yeah, because every other time you give me a full portion and now you give me a spoonful, one extreme to the other. That was delicious, that dinner. Hit the spot. There you are, madam. That's not like it. 
So this is like a second like little portion. Normally when I ask for a second portion from Alex, he just gives me another portion, like a whole other portion. And Alex ate all of his rice, he did well. Yeah, there's only 628 calories. <laughs> Not that much in the rice. Alex made me a bowl of pudding and I was laughing that he put the blueberries underneath. But this is the best pudding ever. Yogurt, coconut yogurt, blueberries or raspberries and then a scoop of vegan Nutella. It's so good. What do you think of Huh? <laughs> what? The words didn't come out. I'm really tired. Look at my wear bags. And I'm having to stay up and wait another 40. I feel so tired. I feel a bit sick. It's 10 o'clock. I want to go to bed. We've had a really long day, haven't we? We've just like working all day. Yeah. I've like literally been working since like 9 a.m. and it's 10 a.m. <sighs> this has happened all week as well. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. When you work for yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. I'm off to bathe in aloe vera juice. I look like a squirrel or something. Right, good night. I declare the vlog over.